Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today, finally, I am getting back in the swing of things and I wanted to bring to you my girl's bedroom tour. So I'm kind of doing room by room because I still feel like I have so much to do. We've already been in the house for like a month, but I just feel like it's just taken me a long time to get into a routine, kind of get used to, you know, living out here and kind of getting a routine. And we're like in the middle of summer. We're actually getting close to the end of summer. August is like this weekend. And so I just like, gosh, the kids are starting school in like four weeks, I think. So anyway, yeah. So I'm trying to enjoy the summer too and not worry so much about uploading because, well, that's just what I want to do. So I wanted to at least um, go room by room, kind of give you some, a little bit of details of what we've been doing. And we've kind of been doing a little bit slowly too, because we've been trying to like build up some funds before we go out and buy a bunch of decorations. But the girl's room was kind of the first room that we got like ready. <laughs> I mean, my bedroom is still a mess. I need to like, like all the boxes are put away, but like I don't have it all like set up how I want it yet. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my girl's bedroom. So here is the tour. All right, so this is the girls' bedroom. Hopefully they won't be too noisy. I told them they could play in the playroom. So here's the entryway. So the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see their chest of drawers that we've had. So this is something that I found off of Pinterest. Let's see if I can get a good picture. I want to go all the way back. So this is just like one of those little chiffon um, netting things, and I actually put it down here and it's a little reading nook. Now eventually I'm going to get some shelves like right here and maybe on the other side and put some books up that are like, you know, kid height, but they absolutely love this. I actually made this bean bag and maybe I should do a tutorial on it. So I made this bean bag and it's actually stuffed full of their stuffed animals. Who of you guys <laughs> have like kids that have like tons of stuffed animals and you don't know what to do with them? Well, I made this bean bag and they actually fit in there. So it's storage for the stuffed animals and it's also a soft place for them to sit. So we went to Hobby Lobby and we got a couple things there. So we're doing mermaid. So it says a mermaid sleeps here. So we're doing mermaid and unicorns. So a mermaid sleeps here. And then um, my family's big in a precious moment. So they got a couple of precious moments banks. And that was the teddy bear. Teddy bear. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. The Sailor got when she was little. And then over here is the one of the precious moments. I think I don't remember. It has a name, but Jasmine out. Sorry, Jasmine chasing the cat. And then this cute little thing here is a nightlight with a projector. And so at night, it puts like stars and moons on the ceiling. So it's really cute. And of course, this is my girl's chest of drawers. It's just an off-white. Uh, it's more white. And it's just kind of more fancier style, which I love. And so we're going to turn over here to the bedroom. So we kept the bu bunk beds bonked. There's Twilight. Hi, Twilight. She's one of our new additions to the family since we moved. So Mia loves unicorn so she got a unicorn comforter and Sayla got a mermaid comforter and she loves mermaids so the girls did make their beds this morning we were kind of working on a chore chart and I'm kind of working on them doing their own chores so here's hoping it continues to work out <laughs> but anyway yeah so the walls you can see are kind of a pretty lavender and we actually got these custom made blinds there's our view from outside pretty cool huh so custom made blinds let me start with that <laughs> they're room darkening and they're the level R I believe and the color, this color is called lavender. And so you can see them right there. We haven't gotten curtains yet. We will eventually, but right now we felt like blinds are more important. So I was worried because room darkening sometimes can translate into not necessarily blackout, but they actually get really dark. So I was happy for that. So we have another thing from Hobby Lobby. Unicorns make me happy. So the girls, I think each got two unicorn things maybe two and then two mermaid things. And then my sister-in-law actually made a couple cute artwork pieces for their room too. So here's their chore charts that I got from Amazon. Um, and I kind of thinking I might do a video about it and kind of how my experience has been with the chore charts because I am trying to get my kids into doing chores. They're actually doing a lot better. You can see Mia, I actually put some pictures to kind of help her feel like, help her understand a little bit more because she's not quite reading yet. And then this right here, just for fun, is my daughter's um, tooth fairy pillow. My mom made it, and you put a little tooth in there, and then the tooth fairy comes and puts a little dollar, a couple, couple cents in there. So, here's their bunk beds again. And, yeah, they're just the pretty white. I love them. They're really pretty. I feel like they're very fancy. Got, like, nice little decor. So, this wall's kind of empty right now. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. It's right next to the closet. 
But I really liked this. They kind of go together, the little unicorn in the pretty teal, and then we have the You Are Amazing. And I promise they are even. They look a little uneven in the camera. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's just kind of a bare wall here, just kind of empty for now. But I think eventually we might put a desk in here, you know, when they start doing a lot more homework, when they start getting up in the grades. So this right here, I'm gonna open it up and back up. This is their walk-in closet. So super tons of space. It's kind of a mess on the bottom because I haven't cleaned it out yet, but tons of space in here. You know, it's three quarters of a rack. We got lots of storage. We still have a few boxes that we haven't quite figured out how to unpack. I'm trying to get to a good stopping point before I'm 100% for sure what's gonna happen. So plenty of room for clothes. And as they grow and get older, there's gonna be plenty of room for clothes, you know, as my two daughters become teenagers. So I love it. Like it's a huge tons of space. I mean in this house too It could kind of be a second master for some people So then of course their regular dresser This baby doll my mom actually made like she painted the porcelain and everything And then sewed the little design the little like the body and everything and put a little thing on it So this is another like kind of family heirloom and then my sister-in-law made this cute little unicorn for Mia because her birthday was recent and Actually over here. I'm trying not to film me because I'm really sweaty from the gym today. Um, the mermaid and then she put sailor's name on it so it's a little mermaid tail but yeah they have their little um jewelry box a little boom box and this basket i put like bows and stuff in so here's their dresser i know baby i'm sorry and there's jasmine and the cat kind of deciding whether or not they're gonna have a fight <laughs> jazz she's learning she's learning to be a cat friend so yep so as you can see these kids love their little reading nook it's really cute and I love it and like I said I think this was like $20 on Amazon so I will try to list below all the stuff that we um, got for this room or at least like the chore charts and maybe the um, couple of things that I know I can get links for if you're interested because I think this was a really cute idea unfortunately the cats have been climbing on it so I've been trying to get them to stop but it's a cute idea I feel like it's very whimsical and very like romantic so anyway so this is the girls bedroom so I hope you enjoyed that. I also have one of Corbin's coming up soon. I am probably going to do that one next week. Um, I'm trying to upload at least once a week. I don't even make it sometimes that way, but you know, I'm doing the best I can. It's still summer. So I hope everyone else is enjoying the rest of their summer and I will see you guys next time.